So you're probably watching this because you want to know how to get rid of your cellulite. So cellulite is very, very common and it affects around 80 to 90% of women. So if you're watching this video, you probably have cellulite or at some point you probably will develop it. It's completely normal. It doesn't cause any medical health problems. You don't need to do anything about it. However, it can really affect a woman's self-confidence, their self-esteem, and also people can become quite self-conscious about it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what cellulite is, what causes cellulite, and what you can do to treat it. So cellulite basically describes this uneven, bumpy, dimpling texture to the skin. It's often described as having a cottage cheese-like appearance or like the skin of an orange pill. And it normally affects the lower part of the body, so your legs, your thighs, and your buttocks but sometimes it can affect your arms and also your tummy region as well. So the causes of cellulite is multifactorial, which means that there are a number of different factors which can put people at risk of developing it. One of that is age. So as you get older, the skin becomes thinner and that makes cellulite more visible. The other thing is your genetics. So if you have family members, you have cellulite, then you're more at risk of developing it. Also other factors such as having poor circulation, poor fluid drainage or lymphatic drainage, particularly if you have a sedimentary lifestyle, can put you at risk of developing cellulite. However, if we were to dive deeper into what actually causes cellulite, so underneath the skin you have a layer called your subcutaneous tissue which contains your fat cells. And within this layer you have fibrous bands which basically help to hold the fat cells in a very nicely packed, organised manner. What happens in cellulite is that these fibrous bands become quite tight and thickened and as a result of that the fat cells are able to push through those bands causing the outer surface of the skin to appear uneven and bumpy and giving rise to cellulite. It's not really well understood what causes those changes to the fibrous bands, but it's thought that estrogen plays an important role, which is why cellulite is more common in women than in men. And it's also more common in women who are pregnant, who are breastfeeding, women who are taking hormone replacement therapy or are on long-term contraception. So before we actually go into what you can do to reduce cellulite, you actually don't need to do anything about it. Like I said, it doesn't cause any medical health problems, but I do understand that people can become quite self-conscious about it. So one of the things that's been shown to reduce the appearance of cellulite is exercise and weight loss. There's actually a common misconception that cellulite only occurs in people who are overweight, but that's actually not true. It can occur in people who have a normal weight, people who are slim, people who have a low body mass percentage, because cellulite is not actually necessarily due to fat cells per se, but it's actually due to the fibrous bands becoming thickened and tight. So although exercise and weight loss can up reduce the number of fat cells, and as a result of this, reduce the appearance of cellulite, it doesn't actually necessarily treat the underlying cause. However, studies have shown that doing a combination of weight training, strength training, cardio can help reduce cellulite. So doing things like squats, lunges, deadlifts, combined with running, doing this at least 30 minutes a day, three to four times a week can help reduce cellulite. The other things I'm sure you've seen online or that's been advertised are supplements. So supplements containing caffeine, collagen, vitamin A, vitamin C are literally out there claiming to reduce cellulite. The actual truth is there is no evidence at all to show that supplements reduce cellulite. And they are basically just expensive urine because you just pee out. Your body doesn't really need them. So please don't waste your money on them, particularly if you are trying to use it to treat your cellulite. So the other things that you might have seen are things like coffee scrubs or dry skin brushing. So similarly to the supplements, they don't treat the underlying cause of cellulite. What they do is that they remove dead skin cells, they help increase circulation and fluid drainage around the area, which can somewhat help to reduce the appearance of cellulite. The other things I'm sure you've seen also is creams. There's loads of creams that have been advertised as well to reduce cellulite and the majority of them don't actually work. There's actually only two types of cream that have been shown to be beneficial. The first one is caffeine-based cream, which basically works by temporarily dehydrating the skin cells, which can reduce the appearance of cellulite. However, it's something that you have to be doing consistently, every single day, for a long period of time, for you to see any benefit from it. So the other cream which has been shown to be beneficial is retinoid-based creams. And what they do is they help to thicken collagen levels within the skin, and this can help reduce the appearance of cellulite but you have to be using it at least six months to see any benefit from it at all. Apart from creams, there are non-invasive procedures which are popular in helping with cellulite. One of them is laser therapy called Cellulase, which basically uses a small probe just underneath the skin and it uses heat and light energy to break down the fibrous bands, which gives rise to cellulite. This has actually been shown to be very beneficial and results can last up to three to five years. The other procedure, which is actually quite popular, is something called subcision, also known as selfina, where tiny needles are inserted just underneath the skin to break down those fibrous bands. However, the results of this are mixed because it's dependent on the technician or the person doing the procedure, but it has been shown to work and it can last up to three to five years. 
Another procedure is something called endodermology, which is basically like a tense tissue muscle massage that sometimes can be offered in some spa facilities. The results of this are variable. There isn't much research on it and you need at least eight to 10 sessions for you to see any benefit from it. And then another procedure is something called carboxytherapy, which uses a gas called CO2 that we naturally breathe out to break down the fibrous bands. And similarly, the results are mixed because there hasn't been much studies which has looked into this. Apart from those procedures, there is a injectable called Quo, which basically is an enzyme injected into the thighs and also the buttocks, which helps to break down those fibrous bands. And then lastly, people can have liposuction, which is removing fat from certain areas of the body. And that has been shown to reduce cellulite. However, there has been some cases where it's actually made things worse. So those are the main treatment options for cellulite. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure you give it a like, a thumbs up. And if there's any specific topics that you want me to talk about, please leave it in the comment box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.